take a look at what's going on with the Supernote. So I've got several windows open here, but I want to make sure that I go through this. Most of the things that have been done here are going to be redundant, so we're not going to actually go through each of them in every single feature. One thing to notice right away is this idea that you have this note at the top on every single notification where they talk about upgrading their cloud infrastructure to enhance the experience. To continue using the cloud and partner apps, update your devices. This was a blanket update to the mobile apps, Mac OS, and Windows desktop apps. Here's the change log specifically for the Nomad. And one thing that it had that was different from the A5X was it was having a lot of trouble with the gestures on the sidebars. Now, personally, I didn't have that issue, but I know that it was an issue because Roderick at Rants About Tech uh, has talked about it. It was all over Reddit, and I don't think people were imagining things. I really believe it was an issue. And maybe it's because of the way I had mine set up and which gesture you had that was on the screen versus on the sidebar, or whether you were left or right handed could have also, if you were using those sidebars differently. But anyway, I'm glad they optimized it. I hope that it really did fix everything because I think that's important. Then you see this large list of fixes. And I think it was important for them to do this because there were several things from that last beta, and you've heard me talk about this before, they kind of rushed to get this update out a little bit, and it caused them to have some things that just needed to be taken care of. Obviously, right here, they fixed the issue where there was sometimes a delay when First, writing a stroke after you wake up the device or switching applications. Also fixed an issue where the Note app would occasionally crash after opening a locked Note and restarting the device. Fixed an issue where the Note would sometimes get corrupted when continuously changing the PDF template. Now again, I want to caveat all of this. These are all real issues that I didn't have firsthand experience with, but again, I think it's important and it also shows you how much they're paying attention. Uh, fix the issue where the links at the bottom of the pages in the exported PDFs would not work. And I could definitely see that being important if you had MDO or MMP from My Deep Guide or the Get It Done Planner from Morning Coach. Fix the issue where the scrolling performance was not smooth in landscape mode. That was actually a real issue for me. Uh, when using the two fingers to scroll through a vertical note. It's one reason that I really have trouble using the A6X2. One is the size, and also even when you turn that orientation, it's really not the greatest of experiences. And I think that them taking that into the consideration and getting that fixed was really important. Fix the issue where the password protection was occasionally not effective when accessing a locked note through the last open note. This seems to be something that was yet another security issue they found when it came to being able to lock notes. I thought they had fixed this in the last update, but obviously not. Or this is a different issue, which is probably more likely. Uh, they also fixed the issue where the last open page was sometimes not saved successfully, causing the note to jump to the first page when opened. I, again, didn't encounter that, but obviously someone did. I think a lot of this may depend on how you use the device. For me, I use short notes, one-off notes, you know, single meeting notes, and I don't get these long notes that sometimes can have some of the other problems. The calendar... Fix the issue where the eraser would sometimes not respond when two fingers pressing the writing area in the monthly view and weekly view. This they fixed, but with a caveat. Uh, I've already sent and talked to the RADA team. The Supernote team, of course, is great, uh, but they kind of fixed this. So here's what happened. If you have your sidebar set to be the uh, region eraser, you will not be able to region erase on the calendar in any way, shape, or form. So what you have to do is you have to have 
a specific set. You have to have the region eraser set for the two finger swipe on the screen, which always works on the A5X because it doesn't have that second sidebar. And then you have to have the region select on the sidebar. And I don't really know how they're going to fix that. So I think a lot of people really like to have the erase, which is the functional that you use probably as often, if not more often, than you use the region select on that side on, on that sidebar. I could be wrong about that, especially now that they have the delete option for the region select. It'll be interesting to see how that pans out. But right now, just so you know, you may be getting really frustrated if you are in the calendar or on the page or the month view. And if you hit the sidebar and circle, you get nothing but a continuous line and stroke. And if you put two fingers down on the screen and do that, you get a continuous stroke. The last two things, one was to do, they fixed the issue where moving tasks and deleting their original list while offline sometimes caused the tasks to be lost upon reconnecting to the internet. That is a serious issue. Again, I am playing more with the to-do list than I am using it as a daily driver at this point. Uh, but I see a lot of future development with that. And then the stylus, it says fix the issue where the pin touches on the device were not registered after adjusting the non-contact writing values. So again, a long list of, I think, needed fixes. You'll see on the A5X, all of these same issues we covered with the A6X2. It's a shorter list because there are some hardware differences between the two devices, but for the most part, it's, it's the same, uh, same fix.